Hello everybody and welcome again to Zero Expert channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between the cell limit and cell stop. Uh, since there are so many of our users and uh, customers are asking always what's the difference between the cell limit and cell stop when, they, when you want to order, uh, place the order, yeah, cell order, uh, so there you can have, uh, I mean you will have two options to choose. Uh, you can place your order as a cell limit or cell stop. What's the difference between them? So I can, uh, I'm going to explain it in two different charts. Let's just say, for example, in this chart, the play, uh, the mark, this is the market movement, right? I mean, the price, you're going to see the price is whatever it can be, is raising up. But what do you think? Uh, for example, you are waiting for special, uh, for any specific price, let's just say here, and your analyze is saying that, for example, if we catch, if we're reaching this price, after that, we will start, the price will start falling down, right? So, we, in this case, so when, the, when we want to set the price for sale, which is more than the market which is going on movement I mean, which is more than the current price so we can set or we can order we can place the order of sell limit in this amount so we'll say that for example here is 1300 then the price is came to 1300 we're gonna sell here and this is the sell price so in this case if we want to set up our uh, stop loss we will say that okay this is our stop loss so in the cell limit then we want to set up the cell limit this is how it is so cell limit we use when we want to sell something whatever any symbol in the price which is more than current price of the market Okay, this is sell limit. So you want prices here in 1290 and you want to sell this in 1300. Here you can set the sell limit price order. But what is the sell stop? Sell stop is opposite, opposite, exactly 100% opposite of that. It's the sometimes, for example, you, this is the market movement, right? It grows up here and again starts falling down. So, your prediction or your analyze says that, for example, if we catch the price here, if the price comes, so it's, it will be twice, it will be two kind of the movement, right? It can be, for example, you are thinking that maybe the price will come here and again raise up, or after here, it will start falling down. So, here, your analyze shows you that if we reach this price, for example, if we come to the 1250, after that, for sure, the price, I mean, your analyst says that if we reach this price, it means that we're gonna, the market will be, fall, the market price will be fall down more. So, the price, current price is 1260, but you wanna sell in 1250. In this case, you are setting sell stop. So, in a sell stop, this is the order. You are placing the order for the sell stop when the price that you want to sell, it's going to be less than current market price. Look, the current market price is 1260. You want to sell it in 1250, right? In this case, you want to set the sell stop. Sell limit is when you want to sell something, whatever it is in the more than current market price current market price is 1290 and you want to sell it in 1300 right so you're going to sell the sell limit here you're going to sell the sell stop here is that clear if you have any other question any more than this i just try to make it very simple to make it uh, to be to be able to understand much more easier if you have any uh, other question more than this for the more detail please check our facebook page YouTube channel or go to our website zerospread.info and to online chat or the email you can contact us 24 hours 5 days a week.
we will be happy or we're more than glad to uh, help you if you have any question. All the best and thank you so much for watching this.